What's up guys, we're back here, and we're back into some Slightly Spire modded. So, a couple changes, uh, since we've played last, uh, we played as, what's his name, the Judge last time. Uh, since then, the Watchers came out, I think uh, for official release, so she is now in the, uh, the modded set we have here. Um, since we've rotated around, uh, we are going to be starting back from the beginning. Uh, another thing to note, uh, as you can see, our little mime friend is not uh, in this set right now. That's because he wasn't um, when we I went to launch. Uh, there's a patch for him that just wasn't working. It just uh, stalled out my loader, like my mod loader. So I took it off for now. Um, I'll try to put it back in by the time we get to like the fifth or sixth slot. Uh, so it'll be a little bit. So not to worry. Uh, we will still try to play them. That means though when we get to the defect, we might not have um, some of the weird options that we had. But that's fine. No worries. Uh, we are jumping back in with the ironclad. But those are the noticeable changes. I'm gonna go around. Uh, I don't think talk around works exactly yet. I think you have to do a run first. Not 100% sure, but we're gonna go like this. Uh, rare colorless card. Choose one. Hmm. Could be good. Random event. Upgraded card. Obtain a curse though. Where's our first shop at? Oh, there's an early shop like right here. Is that the path we'll go? No, we'll go this path. Elite, campfire. There's a shop up there that we can go to. Alright, let's take the rare colorless. So we get. And the curse. See what curse we got. We got sloth. Lose all max energy. Gain one max energy at the start of each turn. Autoplay. Gain one max energy. What does that mean? Hmm, I'm not sure. Spire strike for one more for each I cleared to the number of floors. That could be really good. Magnetism, meh. Crystalis. Could be okay. I think we're going to take the, the uh, spire strike. Could be cool. I think at the end it's like 50-ish floors. Something like that. Off the top of my head. Alright, let's get into here. Sloth. So we have... Oh yeah, our max energy is down to zero now. That's a weird one. So yeah, next time we'll get one energy, two, and then three. Ooh, rough stuff. Yeah, sloth is gonna hurt. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to take another fourteen. I'll defend. I should defend both times, but it's fine. Vulnerability and strike. You're dead. Okay, abandon. Exhaust up to three cards. Draw one card for each. Add a void to your discard pile. So it's just like a you can exhaust a bunch of cards. So it's like exhaust three, draw three. Eh, they will just take the flex. Get that uh, uh, extra void shards. And I think the flex will be decent with the like the uh, spire strike, which is doing two damage now. And of course. Uh, we draw sloth on the first turn again. Uh, let's flex first. Do that. Uh, we're gonna take a lot more damage. Uh, I could see. I could double like the fin and take no damage. However, this dude just keeps getting strength, so it's better to waste him sooner than later. Yeah, Fifteen now, and we should have this flex. I don't think we even need that, but we had it. So close line on death tide. I have one to crap. Uh, you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. This could be good, but I think we'll take close line and avoid shard. See what we got here. Find some potions. Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. That's pretty cool. I've not seen that one yet. Grand the bottle and a fire potion. Not, either that's a modded one or a new one, but I love the the artwork on that. Okay, let's, how do I want to do this? Eight in vulnerability. I could just straight out kill him with a fire potion. Defend one, stab him. Um, mm -hmm. I should have bashed him as well. I should have. I will. Ah, it's early. That's fine. We'll take the twelve, and then we will should kill him this turn. Yeah. Works out. Toxic potion. Oh, we should see. We should have thrown one. Um, 
Unfortunately, the Blessing of the Forge Potion is the one I'm dropping. Uh, another clothesline? Clothesline's good. Three attacks. Just having the weakness, especially coming up on these elite fights, could be really good. Find a relic, find a relic. Oh, you're gonna make me dive deep. Or Calcum, three block. The start of each of our turns. Do I rest or do I smith? I think with the potions we have, we'll smith. Oh, this makes it doesn't exhaust. I like that. It's not good yet, but it it's it's working on it. Mechanical combatant. Well, mechanical combatant, I'm going to hit you a bunch and see how you feel about it. Because there's no reason to block when we get we get the six. Um, I'm gonna continue to wail on you. Because there's no reason for me to block unless I'm gonna block for a lot. Ooh, he gained. Weakness. Alright, ten. Um You know what? Do this. Boom. Out of the way. Relic launcher. At the start of combat, deal damage equal to the to a random to uh, deal damage to a random enemy equal to the number of relics you have. Okay. Could be good. Offering or carnage. Offering. I really like Carnage as a card, but Offering is also really good. Um, this has more weak. I think we'll do that. Weak's a great, just a great status. Smiling Mask. So, Merchant's card removals always cost 50, which is good to get early. And then some more Void Shards. Let's get the freaking Sloth out of our deck. You will kill us. Okay, now let's look. Ground food. Whenever you rest, upgrade round card. I think, yeah. Like, Flex is also really good, but this is great. Add one rare card to your deck. Eh. Yeah, this is where we're going. And then, yeah, nothing else. Just enough. Continue up here. <laughs> that looked cool. And then they, like, sit there. That's pretty funny. I enjoy that. Okay, so we can kill one of you. Okay. Should work. No way we don't take any damage either. He's going to keep healing them, but my goal is going to be... Actually, I should probably bash him and put some damage on him. Just because if not, next turn I think when he does his big attack. Yep, here it comes. And yep, he got healed too. 27. Is that all? That's fine. And then hit you. Uh, I'm only taking six. I don't want an offering. It's fine. We'll keep. Next time we can focus on him. And I don't know if this dude, the Gribbling Cook, actually ever attacks. Like, I don't know if it's really in his nature to attack. Boom. And then we'll kill the cook next. Like, he keeps healing. Okay, so if he's not healing, he will come after me with a vengeance. But he's dead. That was a good fight. Those could be really bad fights with no AoE. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright. Deal 5 damage. Gain 5 block. Heal 5. Upgrade each time you lose HP while in your hand. It's not, I don't think, good enough for us. Like, it could be good. But I don't think we're really playing towards that. I don't think any of these are what we want. Another elite fight. I think we're going to duck it. Just so we could hit another campfire. I want to get my other clothesline upgraded. Lots of weakness. And then we're going to go here. Ooh, oh, Mimic. Hello. You're going to get hit with some relics. Five damage. Uh, oh, I can't do any attacks this turn. Well, that sucks. Closed lid. Artifacting. Some stuff. He's only doing four. Don't really have to worry about it. Or Calcum is such a great relic. Like, just the ability to not have to uh, block is hugely undervalued, I think. Because a lot of the times, enemies don't always do, like, you know, a ton of damage. Or it's okay to, like, take, like, the three. Okay, I could offering and hopefully kill him. Because he's doing nine. I'll take three of that. I think so. I think that's what we want to do. And we're not going to. Actually, we can. Forget. Uh, uh, these would have been good to have in a boss fight. 
Starting strike for the kill. Ooh, happy drink. I've seen this one. Raise your max HP by two whenever you enter a shop. Increase your max. Ooh, so that like incentivizes going to shops. Um, anger cleave, I think. Just a little bit of AOE. Take five. Oh, six now. All right, we can you. Oh, I should flex first. Flex now, cleave. I uh, will take three. I don't think we. I am. We might could have killed them on the like the roundabout, but I didn't want to take the six and not kill them. So uh, sword boomerang or spot weakness. I think spot weak. Well, yeah, spot weakness. And then we'll go here. We can just rest. Upgrade, yeah. Upgrade a ram card. Get back up to our good, good HP. False Knight. So he's doing 15 damage. So we'll say hello. Thank you for the damage. We'll cleave and then we'll defend. Just not to be... Oh, well, I shouldn't have defended because we have uh, more Calcum. And I forgot to flex, which is not good. All right. Uh, actually, bash. Then strike. I did that in all the wrong orders, but it's fine. He keeps us weak is what it looks like. But we're going to also impose weakness on this man. One thing I'm noticing just like fighting uh, through this is that uh, our defensive capabilities are not very good. Or Calcum is like making up 90% of our defense. Uh, Spock weakness. Um, we're just going to kind of defend more. Not, like either way, it's the same amount of defense. Yeah, it's making up most of our defense because all we have is basic, basic defend. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. We we're not dead, so it's fine. All that matters is the last HP in this fight. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I think this is a strength build. Like, Juggernaut's okay, but we don't have enough defending things. Pervious is good, but Exhaust. I think we're just going to go Limit Break. All right, let's do what weird stuff. I'm going to take a sip of coffee here. It's actually pretty early in the morning. Well, not pretty early. It's averagely early, to be recording at least. All question mark room contain the merchant. Whenever you encounter the merchant. Hmm... Mall pass plus happy drink. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing a pattern. You cannot remove card at the merchant. Uh, but is the merchant considered a shop? Hmm. I think I have to try it. Like, we'll see how that goes. Uh, city. See how this goes. I'm not super confident, and I think I will go here. We got 60 void shards. We got stuff we could do. Fall is the boss. Never gonna happen. Ooh, Copernicus cubes. I have to defeat Captain Abe. All right, these things are weird, as in they they change their intent. Yep. Okay. Uh, I don't care if you defend. What can I make you do? Ooh, bad draw. Oh, it's every time you play an attack, too. I thought it was only, like... It's every time you play a card. Okay. Close line. Eh. Uh. Limit break, I guess? That's fine. You gotta uh, really restrain yourself against these cubes. Alright. Spire strike. Get that one. Both defend. I don't really want that, so I'd rather hit him again. Yep, don't want that. Hit him again. That's fine. Because we we're already down a little bit more than I'd want to be. But with gremlin food, it's 100% fine. Kill that dice. Hit you. I will do this. Because I want to take 15. Uh, strike. Strike. That's fine. He's got to put some more block up. But I should be able to beat the crap out of him. Zero by six. Ooh, 15. I should just... I, I need to learn to, uh... When it's the wrong time to, uh... Use my attack. Alright, spot weakness. Strike him. So he seems like to alternate a little bit on, like... 
He won't do like two big attacks in a row, it seems. I'm just gonna kill him. All right, bloodletting, two energy. Choose two attacks in your hand. They gain piercing, ignores block for the rest of combat, exhaust. That's kind of cool, but sword boomerang. Sword boomerang is just better because it's a uh, multiple hitting attack and we're gaining strength. Pretty simple. Okay, move a basic strike. Uh, random relic, we got red skull. Okay, okay, here's the stuff we like, really interested in. I think we're gonna take Suzu, Sozu, because we didn't get one last time. Is there anything, this heal 10, uh, I want this to come around. Remove artifact, apply two weak and vulnerable. Play or could you play this combat? Oblivion. Channel two random orbs. I think I want this. Here's why. Um, the ironclad can have, or has a chance to get the uh, the hellfire orbs in his rotation. Gains two strength. We can limit break and uh, make that up. So we're at 82, 84. Awesome. Oh, and he's the blood merchant. Are they all blood merchants? Because it's going to be bad if it is. All right. Relics are going to be good for us. Change that. Increase by 50? Yes. 100%. Come on. Uh, no. Random black cards add to your deck. Future boss chests have one additional relic to choose from. Could be good. But that's 19 more health. Uh, there's going to be another shop next, I think, based on what we're doing. So we're going to gain 3 HP. Uh, I think I'm good. Like, I could go hard in this, but... Okay, so it's just a random chance. 50 more gold, 3 more HP. Cool. So what is this? Raise your max HP by 100. And... Oh, no. That's cool, but no. <laughs> okay. Um... Carnage is good. Sold out, so we can't remove cards here. That's good. I think I will take the Carnage, I want to say. Yeah. Pretty good one. So that's how we're going to continue to raise our max HP by a ton. And just pick up a ton of relics. Alright, so if this works the way I want it to. Uh, we got a crystal and some, I guess two crystals maybe. Because we uh, got some extra orb slots. Nine damage to you. It's not going to kill you, which sucks. Uh, but I'm going to gain six, so why don't we clothesline someone else and start working on the next bird? Okay, it's fine. And I want to upgrade Oblivion. Okay, so they're all doing a little bit of damage. Okay, can I kill? I can't kill you. Kill you. I would not kill you. You all suck. I hate the birds. They're like the most annoying. Okay, that distributed pretty well. I think I will double block here and hit this one. I'm not sure if I could have killed him. Maybe with this potion. Because that would have been 10 damage. Alright, Carnage. 11 damage. Uh, Cleave first, definitely. Then Spire Strike. Yeah, 12. Kills him. You're doing 10, so I think I'll carnage you. Seems the best way to do it. Oh, with pin, pin nib is next too. That sucks. Because double damage is not really necessary here. So here's the way I'd want to use my limit break. 10 strength, and boom. Another fairy in the bottle that we can't get. Uh, no, nah, I don't think any of those are really what we want. Let's go ahead and rest again. Get an upgrade. Gremlin food's great. It's great, great, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a, counted as the first attack this turn, though. So we should really lay it on with him. All right. That, Spire Strike, because the, the Ghostly Sneko, the first attack you do, does it count towards hurting him. That's his deal. Which could suck if you play a deck that's like one super powerful attack, then a lot of nothing. Alright, do that. 
Uh, it was like, I think, Dark Orb and then Crystal, maybe? Okay. Not bad. We'll take one damage here. So we're actually going to get some health back. Strike. Uh, clothesline. And you're dead. Oh, that was Pin Nib, too. Impervious, Perfected Strike. Uh, headbutt, I think. Aha! The boot. Nah. Broken ball. Whenever you add a card to your deck, if it isn't upgraded, upgrade it and lose 2 max HP. Eh. Not really thinking about that. 4 or less. I'm not going to deal 4 or less. This one was not as good. Which is fine. Another mimic. Dude. Leave me alone. Because, yeah, I can't play any of that. <sighs> I need, was a 10 foot pole? Is that the card I'm thinking of? Or the relic that says mimics cannot catch you off guard? Alright, Oblivion. I don't know what the first one was. It was like a, just a, like a uh, little bit of rainbow. Uh, well, flex, but I don't think it matters. Okay, can I kill you this turn? Oh, he has thorns too. Didn't realize that. I cannot kill him. I was close, but no cigar. Okay. Sticky explosive. Aftershock. Eh. Another cleave. I like that. Keep hitting these shops. More max HP. Welcome. Thank you very much. For each act you climb, upgrade a random card at the start of combat. No. 14 block, I like that. And a random curse. I think I'll just take this one. 150 gold could be good, but we're gaining gold every time we enter a shop, so. It's fine. So next turn, we will get some block. That's gonna suck for you. Limit break here. I am gonna offering, because this dude can be kind of rough. Unless you do that. One for all is a little late. Sharpening stone. Hey, uh, they gain piercing for the rest of combat. Exhaust. Startup. A random attack in your deck gains piercing for the rest of combat. Sure. Real combat. It got a lot of text. Okay. Ooh, what are you? Gain an energy. That's kind of cool. 5% chance to gain critical. Every time you lose HP equal to time. Gain a random potion. That wouldn't do nothing for us. And yeah, none of these do anything. Continue up. Keep gaining max HP. Anything here? Complete a quest. Duct tape. Combine two cards. Treasure room. Now it shows what relics can be found in treasure and elite rooms. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Anything new? Nope. Nothing we can get. Oh, we could get this one actually. You break into his block, apply too vulnerable. Meh. And the car, like, another flex could be good, but I think we're rocking and rolling good enough. And who's the boss? Ahab. I think we are strong enough to uh, really deal some damage to Ahab. So I don't think it's going to be too bad. Okay. So I think he hit the fish. Was what was just shown there. Oblivion. Okay, we got this, which is... At the start of turn, gain two strength. Does not help me as much as I would like it to. Especially with the limit break in hand, I would love to have gained the strength already. Alas, it's fine. Alright, we got the drowning, but I think we'll deal plenty of damage to him. Here, I'm going to weaken you now. I'm going to hit you both. And I think we're good. 14 block. Yep. Fine and dandy. Fire strike. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. I think I'll save that. I want to headbutt my limit break to the top of the deck. Oh, I should have bashed first. That's fine. Living Lantern, yeah, he's going to heal them both. Okay. Flex. Offering. Okay. Limit break. Carnage, I can Oh, wait. Why is he... Oh, he has Ethereal. How much would it do? 60, 30, you? 
that's fine. I have to play Carnage just because, if not, it'll be exhausted. Was that an 84 damage single strike? Or do my eyes deceive me? Um, this, on this, and this. We don't have pin nib, we just have a ton of strength. And did we get both those? Oh, we did not perfect it, but we did get the evil pickle, which I'm, I don't know if, I know it's not, because he said it wasn't a reference to, to him. I'm pretty sure. But, I'd have to look at my comments. The Evil Pickle has actually been commenting on my stuff, which I think is incredibly cool. So, 6.5 interest on your gold. I like that. Stack of oil can't take. Uh, demon form. Sure. What is this? Mystery boss hunt. Choose energy or non-energy. And obtain a random boss relic of that type. I mean, I don't like these ones anyway, so sure. Energy. Uh, energy. We got fungal core. Five random spores are shuffled into the drop pile. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go to the beyond. Factory, we're not overpowered. We are like averagely powered. Okay, uh, we'll go. I don't really wanna fight the nightmare. I think he would kill us, but there's another cool shop. Let's go up this side. Okay, shepherding stone. Oh, carnage, and there's all our spores. Which, they're kind of just like cluttering up our stuff. Yeah, I gained one week. They're just clutter. Okay, oh yeah, he's not gonna be fun. Get this out of here. Oh, I can't. Do I really want to take 11? You know what? Draw a card. Defend. Not helpful. I guess, yeah, we'll just finish him off. Oh, there's Aftershock applied, too. A little bit of damage across the board. They're not attacking. Oh, we have plenty of defend. Sword Boomerang, please. Kill, kill the Spiker. I don't know why I'm slipping into, like, a, uh, a really crappy French accent. Or just, like... European accent? Hmm. My accents are not the best. We do have 300 gold now, though. Sharpening Stone is going to activate on Spire Strike, which is nice. I like this card. Hello. Thank you for the strength. Now all of you get a little punching. You're going to take a little bit of that. And we'll end our turn. Five energy. We got, like, a whole host of different relics. This has been a fun run. Okay, so we 84 damage because it's, yeah, it's pin nibbed. So we can just decimate one. You, out of here, please. Um, you also, please leave. And we have block because of our shoehorn. Our horn cleat. Odd names. Fine with it. Um, Spire strike to the top. Draw it. Kill. Oh, I could have used uh, one of these spores to it, but that's fine. Oh, another spot weakness? I think so. Spot weakness, three skills. And pick up spot weakness. Awesome. Interest on our gold, too, for the shop. Ah, we're at 105 max HP. Um, glowing per channel. BL1 Primatic Yorb. I really want to know what this is. An orb. To your first... What is... Hmm. Start of each turn. Puzzle cube. We'll pick a ram card in your draw pile. Draw a card. It's okay. This rag. Shop. Your potion and card removal services. Nah. That's not good. Happy flower is good, though. And... Screw it. I'm taking the glowing prismatic happy fun card. I don't know what it does, and I want to know. <sighs> Get our fun guy. Alright, so this dude changes his intent, I think, also. I keep forgetting to flex. Must flex before combat. It's not even the good flex either. Alright. Spot, spot weakness. 
Glowing Prism, what do you do? At the start of your turn, gain two strength. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, hmm. Carnage, I guess. This is gonna. Oh, we have 14 block. 10 for, we'll lose 10 there. This dude could be. Or can be, I suppose. Not fun. Take three damage, that's fine. Um. You can heal five. That's also fine. Bessie, so you're going to get hurt much more. Do I want to draw another card? The weakness is not going to be fun. Cleave. That's also fine. Oh, you're so close, dude. Sucks that I am going to take 22 more damage. But, oh. What's that? Uh, yep, fire growth. Uh, pummel. Another flex? No, pummel. No, was it strength gain? Pummel. Almost, almost said it wrong, but it's fine. Let's see, potions can be used twice. No, they can't. Uh, yeah, I think bag of marbles is the way to go. Eh, I think that's it. Clash could be okay since our deck is like nine hundred percent. Uh, uh, which one call it? Nine hundred percent attacks, but no. Uh, and this isn't the flaming shop. This is the bad nightmare. I think. I thought I seen like the fancy shop. Guess I was just wrong, which is fine. Uh, oh, it makes it one cost. Let's just upgrade demon form, which we haven't drawn yet because our our fights are very fast. Nineteen damage and upgrade on pummel. Pummel equal sign. Oh, that means the equal signs. I guess mean it has piercing. Asking you shall receive in demon form. And we have so much like uh energy that that this is completely fine i uh, will do that we'll also do this got dark orbs i could draw um draw through these two weeks not as good as one week but we're gaining strength so i'm not too worried about it like this isn't going to be fun but when you can do this it's usually fine um, let's make... Oh, they don't have no block. Well, let's cut through them. Because our attacks are already stronger than what they would normally be. Alright, and if I could blow up this orb, that'd be very nice. Um, 28 four times is like 80 plus 86, 32, so 100 and something. Okay, so it'd definitely kill one of you. I think if I do this on this one, 105. Um, you're dead. Sorry to inform you, dude. And you are close to dead. If I draw an attack, which I did not. What is this? Intends to use mysterious magic this turn. I don't know what that means. Burst. I don't know what just happened. But I'm okay with it, I suppose. I'm taking all the flexes. Might be wrong decision. Uh, dot JPEG, but it's fine. Draw five cards. That's good. Since our deck is cluttered with these spores, the draw is nice. Oh, wait. There is the cool shop. I just wasn't looking high enough. I was right. Unfortunately. Um, no longer exhaust. Never shuffle. Spire spike. For each act cleared. Eh, we don't have enough anyway. Hand size. Increase. That's fine. Good move. All right, what else do you have, sir? We have rinsed our void shards this time. I'm not that upset about it. Confirm. I'm not gonna get one of these ones, but we will get one of these. We got all potions are entropic brews. What? That's insane. Uh, I'm not gonna get anything else. We'll say what we have. Uh, another oblivion, cool beans, but uh, we're good. So many shops. And as much as I want to fight the shopkeeper, we're not going to. I feel like we need revenge on him for all the bad things he has done to us, but we'll be fine. Okay, we can draw some cards. Um, one one week sign. That's fine. Get this up here. I don't know what it was, but it's fine. Enemy, sure, you can heal five. So I can do some more damage to you. And, oh, that's all we got. 29 damage. 
Whew. This is gonna hurt. Oh. I think he also switches intent now that I'm remembering. But it's only when you when you punch him. Take that. Take this also. That's fine. Oh, we have the cleat. Uh, the uh, horn cleat. Yeah, that's right. I, I thought I was wrong. Like, 100%. Um, what will kill him? Carnage, probably. Uh, sword boomerang, maybe? Eh, we'll go with carnage. Because we can draw it. Hello? Enjoy? And I guess we'll rest. Upgrade a skill or attack in your hand. We'll take it. I don't know if it's necessary, though. Oh, actually. So. We're probably going to beat this boss. Here's the real challenge. Can we beat the shopkeeper? And there's mirror. Not for sale. Hey, we're stealing. Okay. Let's get this going. We've lost to him like 94% of the time. I don't know why our... Oh, our turn ended because our relics hit him and immediately uh, triggered him. Alright, dude. 1 by 20. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to remember. We have the fairy in the bottle. Get this out of here for it. Use that. Use this. We only have three currently, so I don't really want to limit break yet. But I'm glad it's actually in the uh, in the graveyard. All right, we're about to do a ton to him. Is there anything that does more damage? This refunds one, so I could demonic infusion. The what if I I can't the limit break's not gonna do anything. Hmm. Take the three. Okay, nothing there. I think we're just gonna do it on clothesline. It's a ton of damage. Cleave, strike. We can't hold the limit break, which sucks. I guess we could play demonic infusion, refund one, and then limit break. Oh, I forget how much damage he does. You are a bad, bad man. The worst of bad men. I don't, I never understand how strong this dude is when he goes. Uh, he's gonna hurt a lot. But I think one good turn of damage and we get him. Mm, this isn't the turn. This is definitely not the turn. This is like the worst of the turns. Are we dying to the stupid man again? Take three. So we're definitely gonna die. Okay, he has one more artifacting. <gasps> nope. I think he might have got us. Oh! <gasps> Alright. Why does our turn suck so much? Alright, we're not going to die this turn, but... Man, is he laying it to us. Strength potion, okay. So, this is the turn. We have to... Okay, okay, wait. 63. We got him, we got him. Boom. Yes! <laughs> oh, man. So, extra energy till we take so much damage. Potions. Doesn't matter. Drop kick now. Pummel, yes. Purge now. Sentinel, no. Nope. Uh, hands agree. If fatal, now. Take all these. And 300 gold. And then Dolly's Mirror. What card do we want another one of? Um, I think there's another limit break. And then we will rest. Ah, The Sharpening Stone is what did it for us. Upgraded another Pummel. This dude, I'm not thinking it's going to be too bad. Oh, we look like the shopkeeper. And if this dude does kill us, it was worth it. Dude, what's up with the damage? Like, off the top of the, like, off the top. I understand you're not happy, but the thorns are gonna, are gonna hurt a lot. Okay, minion, I'm going to ignore the minion for now. Ooh, this guy's gonna be not fun. These guys are all thinking. This guy's going to hit us. Okay. Um, let's hit this guy. Repulse him. 
Limit Break Up, Sword Boomerang, which could kill a bunch of these. Do I go ahead and kill? This thing's going to heal us a bunch. Um, I think I pummel and just decimate into this dude. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. And then I think I kill this. Pin him next turn. Should be good. We've got this. Uh, not with that hand, we don't. Never mind. Okay. Uh, this hand still also sucks. I think we'll demon form just to get it out of our out of our deck. Um, I don't want to gain the weak yet because we have the pin nib. Heal. Crap. Take three. That sucks. I guess what we'll do is we'll demonic infuse a strike. Yeah, it gives it a little bit more. 70 damage twice. 105. Best I could have done. And then, yeah, these can go to the toilet. Oh, we have the rugs. We got a bunch of plated armor, too, which I forgot about. Limit break again. Spot weakness, because you're hitting, trying to hit me. Uh, I will cleave you, and I will strike you. 29, you're dealing 30. Or a Calcum plus that will be good. And we'll heal all three at the, start next, at the end of the turn. Okay, this, this Spire Strike. We did it. We beat our mortal enemy, the shopkeeper. Uh, look at us. We're the merchant. It's the merchant run. Hall pass. Plus happy drink. Great combination. All attacks. Nothing but it. 1,020. One. We did it. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. This was a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.